today we will learn how to insert the record to the Microsoft SQL server from your Excel sheet so here I am having some uh, fixed rows some 10 or 11 rows it may be a number of rows so all the record I want to store it in Microsoft SQL server so here this is my database my database name is uh, test so in this uh, nothing uh, now only I created a table so my uh, database test contain one table called stop so here some four five field id name department gender and the basic salary now i'm going to read that uh, record from excel sheet and i'm going to update in sql server so for this i just open this macro window so i just create one macro connection to SQL. First we have to add the reference of uh, ADODB because we are going to use this uh, ADODB interface to connecting to the SQL server database. Go to tool reference. You just add this uh, reference Microsoft ActiveX data object 2.1 library. Now the reference is included for your project. Now I am going to create some connection object dim say cn as adodb dot connection next we have to initialize the connection object by using set keyword cn is equal to new adodb dot connection initialization means it just load the variable cn into the memory after this for connection object connection string we have to set connection string means uh, that the provider OLEDB provider for SQL server that OLEDB provider name is uh, SQL OLEDB then we have to set the data source is your SQL server name while login into this SQL server all this detail you have to note down I just disconnect and I will login again by login here this is a server name my server name is welcome PC and login credential login name and password you should know to connecting from your SQL sorry from your Excel sheet so my data source is welcome PC my user ID is SA my password is SQL 2005 then here the database name our database name is test you have to specify with the initial catalog initial catalog is equal to test that's all it will establish a connection with the database then we have to call the open method of this uh, connection class that's all so now I am going to declare some two variables to store the string one variable called the str as string one more variable dim To run the for loop, I just declare one more variable called i. Now, see my Excel table contain the row from second to eleven. So now in this case eleven, it may be n number of row, maybe thousand or ten thousand or even more also. So to count the row I am going to use this uh, worksheets of index number one that means in our case there is a first sheet dot used range dot rows dot count so this will return the number of that uh, last reference row
so this will execute for each row in your sheet 1 from 2 to the total number of rows see now I am going to add the insert command and I am going to store it in the string variable ok here I just explain the insert command insert into table name my table name is stops values so here first value that is employee id I am going to read from i comma 1 i comma 1 means we know that it will varying from 2 to the total number of rows first time it is 2 2 comma 1 2 comma 1 means uh, that will read from a to cell and it will put it in this place next next value is a uh, character name for that I just use this uh, single quotation also then inside this I just use i comma 2 that means to i also now 2 2 comma 2 means a b2 cell in b2 cell what it is there in b2 cell staff name is there it will read this name kumar and it will store it in this place like that i am reading all the value one by one uh, means department then next fourth column gender next fifth column basic salary now all these details will store it in the variable called str. Now I am going to send this one to the SQL server. How to send this one means you can execute the statement. Which statement? Str. So this line will send this statement and it will make it executed on the server. See then after that that server uh, connection reference I am closing by using set cn is equal to nothing. So this will uh, release the memory which is occupied for the connection object. Next, for your sake, I just simply display some message box. Once if I run this one, if it is successful, you will get insert all the 10 row from your Excel to SQL server. Now there is no error, it is displaying the successful message. Let me check whether it is included in the database or not. So test the database. My table is stop. So all the record, all the 10 record is inserted from my Excel to SQL server. Thank you.